Roman Reigns, back on SmackDown, found himself immediately ambushed by a new-look bloodline. A bloodline that is now apparently fiercely loyal to The Rock. In a bid to turn the tide, Roman offered Solo Sikoa one last chance to switch sides and realign with him. Solo appeared to accept, but it was a setup. The bloodline lay in wait. Undeterred, Roman introduced Zilla Fatu, son of Umaga, as his new partner, intending to build a new faction around him. But in a devastating betrayal, Zilla turned his back on Roman that same night, joining the bloodline. Rikishi then rebranded Zilla as Caesar Sikoa, the prodigal son of the bloodline. In a highly anticipated showdown, Jacob Fatu interfered, but Roman was not left alone for long. Jimmy Uso made an unexpected return, standing by Roman's side, turning the odds in their favor. Fueled by vengeance, Roman took out every member of the bloodline, setting the stage for a brother versus brother main event. After Jimmy's victory against Solo Sokoa, The Rock made a dramatic return, delivering a rock bottom to Rikishi, the man he once named as co-head of the table. With Rikishi laid out, questions are swirling. Is the bloodline now in turmoil? Has Rikishi been officially removed from the family by The Rock? Ladies and gents, welcome to SmackDown, and what a way to kick off the show. We are graced with the presence of the final boss, The Rock, here in the flesh. Seeing The Rock live is a rarity, a momentous occasion, so everyone here and watching at home, take it all in. But the big question tonight isn't just why The Rock is here, but what his appearance means for the bloodline, especially after the dramatic events of last week. Noticeably absent tonight is Rikishi, who, after what transpired last week, has been left out of this blockbuster entrance. Last week, we saw The Rock deliver a shocking rock bottom to Rikishi, a move that has sent ripples throughout the entire bloodline and raised countless questions about loyalty, power, and leadership within this storied family. With Rikishi not walking alongside The Rock tonight, one has to wonder about his status and the internal dynamics of the bloodline. Finally, the Rock has come back to SmackDown. Now the WWE Universe, I hear you, you've been begging, pleading, you've been asking for The Rock versus Roman Reigns. And believe me, The Rock wants nothing more than to lay the SmackDown on Roman's candy. But let me make one thing crystal clear. Roman will not survive Jacob Fatu at Money in the Bank. He won't. The Samoan werewolf is on a path of destruction. And Roman, your so-called head of the table, won't be attempting to sit at any table once Jacob's done with him. Speaking of the bloodline, failure is not an option. It won't be accepted. Which brings me to some changes The Rock has had to make. Changes for the betterment of the bloodline. Changes to ensure that these mistakes do not continue to happen. So, Rikishi, my family, my uncle, please, come down to this ring. Here comes Rikishi, folks, and you have to wonder what's going through his mind right now. Last week, The Rock hit him with a rock bottom that shook the very foundation of the bloodline. And now, he's being invited back into the ring by The Rock himself. What changes is The Rock talking about? Just when you thought there might be reconciliation, The Rock delivers another devastating rock bottom to Rikishi. What a shocking turn of events here on SmackDown. Now Tama, Tenga, and Zilla are piling on. This is a brutal beatdown, a clear message to anyone in the bloodline, and maybe to anyone in the locker room, that dissent will be met with force. This is not just a physical attack, it's an assertion of dominance, a re-establishment of hierarchy within the bloodline. Look at Solo. He's watching his own father being dismantled by his family members, and you can see the turmoil written all over his face. Solo is caught in an impossible position between loyalty to his father and allegiance to the new direction of the bloodline under the rock. 
Rikishi, once a revered member and mentor within the group, has found himself on the wrong side of The Rock's vision. WWE Universe, tonight you've seen what The Rock considers control. You've seen how he manipulates and discards family for power. But at Money in the Bank, the original bloodline, my bloodline, is going to take back control of this business. And this time we're doing it the right way. No more shortcuts. No. The Rock thinks he's built a fortress with his house of cards. His version of the bloodline. But I promise you, it's all about to come tumbling down. We're going back to our roots, to our principles. The bloodline was always about family, strength and respect, not politics, not betrayal. At Money in the Bank, Jacob Fatu and I will go to war inside that steel cage and it will be brutal. But it will also be the beginning of the end for The Rock's control. We will fight and we will show the world that real power comes from unity and respect, not fear and control. So, Dwayne. Enjoy your house of cards while it lasts. Enjoy the view from the top. Because at Money in the Bank, we're coming for you. And your reign over the bloodline is about to collapse. Strong words from Roman Reigns, promising a return to form for the original bloodline and a revolt against The Rock's reign of manipulation. Money in the Bank is shaping up to be a battleground where more than just titles will be contested. It will be a fight for the soul of the bloodline. Roman Reigns is ready, and so are we. What a night it's going to be. And now, it's time for our main event, folks. Jimmy Uso versus Jacob Fatu. This isn't just any match, it's a crucial battle as we head into Money in the Bank. Jimmy coming off a big win last week against Solo Sokoa is now looking to derail Jacob Fatu's momentum. Jimmy Uso has been a cornerstone of the bloodline. And since aligning with Roman Reigns again, he's shown a renewed vigor, a renewed purpose. Tonight, he faces a man who has been nothing short of a wrecking ball in WWE, Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu has been unstoppable, a true force of nature in the ring. His path of destruction is well documented, and tonight, he looks to continue that trend against Jimmy Uso. Remember, Fatu is heading into a high-stakes match against Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank inside a steel cage. But first, he has to get past Jimmy, and that's no small task. Here we go. This match has huge implications for the landscape of WWE and the internal dynamics of the bloodline. Jimmy Uso is not just fighting for a victory, he's fighting to reclaim the legacy of the bloodline, to prove that they can handle things the right way, the way Roman promised. Jimmy's using his speed and ring savvy to navigate the raw power of Jacob Fatu. It's a clash of styles, a clash of philosophies. Both of these men are fighting not just for themselves, but for the future direction of the bloodline. What a match we're witnessing tonight. Jimmy and Jacob are giving it everything they've got. Jimmy is fighting smart, using his ring IQ to counter Jacob's overwhelming power. But Fatu, he's a powerhouse, always just one move away from taking the dub. Both men are digging deep now, pulling out all the stops. This isn't just about a win, it's about momentum, about making a statement as we head into money in the bank. Who's gonna come out on top tonight?
It looks like Caesar Sokoa is making his way through the crowd. What's he doing here? Caesar Sokoa might be looking to make his presence felt in this high stakes match. But wait, Jimmy Uso spots him. And Jimmy Uso takes no chances. A brilliant preemptive strike by Jimmy, dropping Caesar Sokoa before he can interfere. Jimmy's not just defending his position in this match, he's protecting the integrity of this main event. We're cutting to the parking lot now, and oh my, it's chaos out here. Roman Reigns is brawling with Tonga Loa. This night just keeps getting more intense.
and Jacob Fatu is about to go high risk. But wait, what's this? What the? Here comes the former undisputed champion. Roman Reigns is making his way down the ramp, and just look at Jacob Fatu's face. He looks like he's seen a ghost. Roman is coming for Fatu. Roman Reigns, fresh from that chaotic brawl in the parking lot, is not letting up tonight. His presence here is no accident. He's sending a clear message, not just to Jacob Fatu, but to the entire bloodline, and perhaps The Rock himself. This is Roman's yard, and don't you forget it. Hold on a second. Just as Roman Reigns is about to reach the ring, Tama Tonga ambushes him from behind on the ramp. What a cunning attack. Roman Reigns isn't just down for the count. No, he turns the tables on Tama Tonga, takes him down with precision. his way into the ring. Watch out! Reigns is like a man possessed tonight looking to dismantle Jacob Fatu piece by piece. This is the Roman Reigns who has dominated WWE. A relentless force in that ring. Oh my God! Here comes The Rock. The final boss himself is entering the arena and you can feel the electricity. The intensity just skyrocketed, folks. This is what the WWE Universe lives for. Two of the biggest stars in the history of our business face to face in the same arena. The stakes are unimaginable. Look at this, The Rock, a legend in our industry at the edge of confrontation, and he chooses to step down. He's not entering the ring tonight. Instead, he's retreating with Jacob Fatu. What could this mean? As we close out tonight's show, the image of Roman Reigns standing tall in that ring, staring down The Rock and Jacob Fatu as they retreat will be etched in our memories. This isn't the end, ladies and gents. This is merely another chapter in the ongoing saga that is the bloodline. For the love of Jesus, what will happen at Money in the Bank?